Okay, this will be a slightly longer video. Probably, actually, a lot longer video. Um, I'm going to show how to correct some of the painting that's done here and make it match that painting over there. And we may get into some more uh, extensive detail painting. So we have this long rock wall face here. And what we want to do is make it blend in more with the terrain. So the editor starts out on the assets panel. Um, we want to go to use this slider bar here. Scroll down to textures. And then we want to choose the paintbrush, which is this button here in between the mountain and the selector ball. And we can use these slider bars over here to choose the size of our paintbrush and opacity and how strong. The strength determines uh, how much fade there will be around the edge, if it's a really sharp edge or if it fades. Um, I'm just going to leave it at about 50. I'm going to reduce this, I think, maybe down six that looks good now i can press the alt button on the keyboard and that will pick up a nearby texture right now i want to pick up the pine cone texture <coughs> and now while it may be perfectly logical for there to be a sheer rock face here because it does look like a pretty sheer cliff um, we also want it to blend in some with the surrounding terrain so we're gonna just try to make it I want that little bit. I'm going to type in 10. So you can actually type the numbers there also. And I'm going to type it in and just start painting like this. So you can see a little bit of well, the trees will come here like this. And there'll be some grass too, I'm sure. That, that would be normal for there to be some grass around there. but. We're going to have trees in this sort of shadowy area of the, of the mountain here. And we're going to find an area and just make it maybe over here. This hill here can have that. And we can put some more rocks on this inside face. And just use the Alt key to grab that texture. This inside face here can have some rocks, and that's okay. But we're gonna leave the we're gonna leave the, the trees there. So I'll have some trees. We might even change it later, come back and have some different grass going through there. There's a little bit of grass underneath on that too. See how that turned green? That greenish tint sort of went away. So we can blend that in a little better. And just use the Alt key. Let's choose these. So I'm imagining maybe some, uh, you know, dirt falls down, and then the the seeds get caught in the dirt and. And then uh, we have some trees are able to grow there. Mm. It doesn't have to go all the way to the bottom. Let's see up here though. This is a nice flat area. We could have trees up here. I, I use I right click the mouse and and use the the W key to to move around. So I right click and swivel for the direction W and S for forward and back. And just Alt, select and click and select and click. And if that gets too, too big of a paintbrush, I can change my paintbrush. I want to come down here. You see a little valley there. Looks like that could have something coming down it. You really do use it like a paintbrush. So we just want to follow the crevices, the natural crevices we see.
There's some there. Where do you see shadows? You can add some some blending. I kind of want that to come up a little. I don't want a sharp line like that. The sharp lines aren't, you don't really see that very much in nature, so we want to not see it here either. It's kind of, it's erratic. Of course, God can do some really amazing things in nature that, you know, when we try to do that in the game, it looks stupid. And then you go out in the forest, and you're like, but that's really what it looks like. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes it's just a God thing, and you just have to say, okay, God, you can do that, but I can't. I can't make it look right. I don't know, this looks... Something's wrong here. Let's try putting a little bit of dirt on this ridge, maybe. Tie that in there. Um, this definitely is a cliff here. You can have the cliff tie around a little bit. And have it come down. There's some trees on the ridge there. And in the valley. And then some rocks here. A little rock piece there. over here. That's pretty steep there. I'm going to do some rocks there. There's a little ridge right here. We can follow this little ridge like this. Now, I know it's it's very possible this could actually be like total rock in, in nature, but it just doesn't look right in a game environment. So we have to try and blend what looks right in the game I'm going to try to make it look more realistic. We just sort of follow the, the lines. See where those shadows are? We just kind of follow those shadows. And just let the paintbrush do it. And there's a shadow there. A shadow there. The shadows sort of show us where the sun is. Shining in. That gives us a little bit of a hint. Where the rocks might be. It, it definitely shows us where the ridges are. And so we just sort of go around like this. And fill in these like that. These are some really interesting rocks over here. I like these. They have a lot of uh, character. I can do more with those than the straight faces. Sometimes maybe we need to add, just add some ridges or something. Like this, this doesn't look right. You might need to just get the terrain tool out and add something. That's okay. I can do that too. So then we come along here, follow some of these ridges. Giving it some character. And, and also remembering wherever there's rocks, we won't be painting trees. So. It's different depending on which side you look at it at. Now we come back here. Now we've seen the round there a little more. We're probably going to grab some more dirt and paint the dirt up here. Just like that. And we'll get through there. Put some rock dirt in there. And there's some rocks. Extend those on out. I'll follow those lines. Just like that. So you can see how the lines go. 
You're just following the lines. Probably not too much rot down here, actually. I think I should have put that there. So I'm going to erase that with the, with the dirt. Okay, so now I kind of want to, I want to show you some other, so usually that's not just one kind of rock. So we need to find another rock. Uh, that's burnt ground, that's not going to be right. Could be some of this desert looking rock through here. And we can blend some of that in like that, see. So that breaks up the the, the scene a little bit without actually bothering it too much. I'm not 100% sure this is the rock choice I wanted to use, but we've got it in there now. Looks kind of like gold ore. <laughs> Maybe we'll have some gold, gold rocks through here or something. Gold veins, maybe. have this, you know, just that by itself too. It's not working out very good though. I think, doesn't that look right? It's too big. I might need to change the size of the texture. There we go. I might need It's too small. Well, I don't want it bigger, no. No, I can't figure out what to might be all right. Pick up some of the other rock and blend it in. I'm not 100% convinced that that's the best choice there. So I might just paint over it. I don't really like it. It's not looking right. You know, something's wrong about it. We just paint over it. Let's see, that's how we fix things. We make a mistake paint over it. I can leave some of it poking out there just for a little character. I do like if some of the highlights there, that looks good. When I get too much, it just doesn't quite look right for some reason. I think it's just not the right environment for it. It's more like desert and we're here on the coast. It just doesn't look right there. So we don't want the really sharp edges. I like it blended and a little fuzzy on the edges because sharp rocks there because the dirt will be you know dirt sort of covers over the edges of the rocks so let's go back and let's find a better a better rock it's not a desert rock and that's not what I'm looking for dirt and grass there we go so here's how we can blend some grass into some of this area too and that looks good Do some blending like this so it doesn't just like sharp grass all of a sudden. And uh, this, so this dirt and grass looks more like rocks and grass to me. So we can do that. It also puts little flowers in there. It has a little flower texture built in. 
Um, I have flowers turned off. If I go over here, I can turn on um, the options. There's the tab. And one of these. Detail, is that it? I can't remember. Nope, that's not it. Uh oh, I need to save. Okay. I tried to show you something and now I can't remember where it is. I know it's on this list, I just don't know where. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's it down there. Unless floor density off. See, I turned it off so I can see the terrain better. Um, but if I turn it on. And you can see the different things. So there's grass and the grass texture. Well, I guess the rock and grass doesn't have a texture. You can see the ferns on the... This is what it will look like under the trees. So this is the grass. I love that Big World automatically grows grass everywhere I paint it. It's just my favorite thing. I love it very much. And so this is more of a... This is more of our, just a plain rocky texture. And uh, it won't, so it'll blend your rocks to your grass without too much. There's another one. So if you bring that all down in here, like this. And go across a little there. There's another texture, if I can walk over here. It actually has flowers on it. I can't remember which one it was. That's not it. <laughs> Definitely not it. Well, there it is. It says grass and flowers. So we can just plant a few of those in here. And see how they make flowers. I think this one... Yeah, this one definitely... We need to change the size of it. It's too big. Now I have some little mountain flowers growing. And it grows, it actually grows little particle flowers in there. See the red and blue and yellow flowers? They actually they grow flowers. And they're kind of fun. So these are some fun things we can do. We can come up to the top of the mountain. You can then plant little flowers like in these little valleys. Through here. Smaller, five. There's that rock terrain the texture we had. I like to use my Alt key and pick up the previous texture I used. So that way my terrain looks the same because I used the same texture in, in similar areas. So put a little blend that in there like that. And with that blend it in. This is how we do the finer details. So you go along the edges of your main rock and you add in some things like this. So now we have a little meadow up here at the top of the mountain. Very small flower meadow. That is kind of fun. Maybe we'll have some little secret treasure up here. The players find a little animal they can find or something. Always be thinking about 
What will the players do? How will they get up here? What will they do when they get up here? So some of it is just art and making it look realistic and some of it is gameplay. You have to think about both at the same time while you're painting. What will the players do? What will it look like? Things don't always look the same in games. They do in the, in the world editor, unfortunately. The world editor makes everything look smaller than it really is. Let's see, I have a little circle dot there. I don't like circle dots. Those aren't right. That's probably just where I accidentally moved my mouse is all that was, but... So that's how we blend things in. Looks like I need to pull some of that away. And now that looks a lot better, so we want to do that with all these areas here. So that looks like that would go really good here. Nice little grass sort of thing going on. And I'm going to pick up just a regular grass, I think, not the flowers. Come on, regular grass. There we go. Alt. And that will just fall all the way down here, just like a little water runoff came off of here and watered that enough to make some some grass, but not enough, you know, it's like temporary, so it doesn't make a river, but it does, it waters it occasionally, so they get some grass growing there. Just think about the geography and the geological formations. That's how I decide where to put things. And grab the little side rock texture. And it goes like that. And now it looks a little more realistic. This is always going to be a game. It's not going to be perfect. I'm not going for perfect. I'm just going for believable. I don't think I'm expecting perfect. I'm not. I'm not perfect. I know I can't do this perfect. I don't expect you guys to do it perfect. I just... I'm going to show you some ideas for how to make it believable. And playable. It just needs to be playable, really. I got too much rock in there, so I'm going to erase some of it. So I'm going to save again. Hopefully that explains a little bit. I mean, I haven't completely gone through and done this whole area. It wasn't really my goal to do the whole area, just to show you how it works. Get a little more grass in there. So we follow the the valley there. See where there's a little runoff area. And we can follow that. And yes, I made my thing bigger because I didn't want to go take forever. <coughs> That's why we're able to adjust the size. <coughs> grab that again. Alright, got it. I just want to go on the edge of this little hill here. I don't think this hill is going to have some sharp rocks, but it might have some of these grass and dirt rocks. Same there. So save, and hopefully you can learn from this well enough that you can repeat it yourself.
Thanks for watching.